Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to show you with coding examples how to implement a simple class in Python that is part 1 and also how inheritance works in Python. Okay, so we are going to see the stepwise process of writing a class, calling objects of this class and overwriting the method of base class using inherited class. So without any further delay guys, let's get started. Now in my Python uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook, if you can see here, right, I am going to just start writing a class here, first of all, okay. And what class I am going to write here is, let's say I am, I want to give a satisfaction comment to the employees of an organization, okay. So satisfaction comment for employees of an organization. So here, first of all, as I told you in my last video, I'm going to define a constructor and that constructor will take two arguments. One is years of experience and other is salary that the employee is withdrawing, okay? And then I'm going to set like we had set in the last video, guys, years of experience of the current instance of the class and years of ex, uh, salary of current instance of the class. These two things are done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a method to give the satisfaction score, okay? So method is nothing but as I told you a function inside a class. So define, um, what should I call it? Comment satisfaction, just a arbitrary name comment satisfaction whether somebody satisfied or not satisfied okay so here it will also work on the current instance of the class and since we have already taken that inside a variable so we will access that variable self dot yoe and self dot salary is nothing but the whatever you supply when you call that object okay so here i will just give a different variable name inside this method i will call years of experience or exp let me say will be nothing but self dot yoe okay and then salary salary so nothing but self dot salary fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a ratio of these two things ratio will be salary that will be this variable basically not the self dot salary meaning will be same but so that there are no confusions and it will get divided by years of experience so we will have a number now a generic thing i'm going to write here if ratio is greater than two then i'm going to say i'm going to just create a statement here statement is equal to employee is satisfied okay and if it's not there right then the statement should hold a value what should it hold it should hold employee is not satisfied and may leave okay so what i'm going to do next i'm just going to return the return the statement right statement let me run this in valid syntax there is some problem okay i think this is the problem this is done now i'm going to create a object of this class so how to create an object of this class let me give a name here my employee one is equal to satisfaction comment and we will pass what we will pass we will come here press shift tab and see what it is expecting so it is expecting two things years of experience and salary so let's give years of experience as 10 and salary let's give 25 lakhs per annum okay give a enter and when i come here my employee one will will the employee be satisfied or not satisfied let's see that we will call this method comment satisfaction okay if we call this method on the employee then we will get that answer employee satisfied and if i create another employee here guys for example some employee who is getting my employee 2 right 
my employee two who is at 10 years of experience getting just let's say 15 lakhs right and then i want to see my employee two satisfaction and it should say employee is not satisfied and may leave right so just to reiterate one more time what we are doing this my employee one, one and my employee two are nothing but objects of your class okay this what you have defined from here to here is called class this comment satisfaction is called method of the class and these years of experience and salary are called attributes of your class fine up to here now suppose hr team wants to implement another method where they want to show to the higher management that all the employees are satisfied okay all the employees are satisfied nobody is unhappy so how we can do that in python is by using something known as inheritance we can override the original satisfaction method okay so what we can do is how inheritance works in python is this class will act as a base class or we also call it as a derived class sorry base class or parent class okay parent class and we will create one more class here which will be child class or we call it derived class what we are going to say here is we are going to say hr satisfaction so this is the normal satisfaction comment then it will come hr satisfaction comment you have to carefully see the syntax here guys hr satisfaction comment okay so here if you come then what you are going to see is you are going to give the name of your parent class in the bracket so this will be hr satisfaction comment and this will be your satisfaction comment so if you see the syntax here carefully guys this is your new class and the name inside the bracket should be of your base class okay now you come here and suppose you want to override the existing comment satisfaction method so you will copy the same name you will copy the same name and you are just going to say here whatever happens you are not checking any condition you are just saying here employee satisfied okay now come here and create an object of this class so say my employee 3 is equal to hr satisfaction comment okay and what it will expect guys it will also expect those two things because you have created the class on the previous class so let's give some years of experience and salary so let's say 10 years of experience and 12 lakh salary so my employee 3 is created and my employee 3 if i want to call that satisfaction method here right comment satisfaction then you will see that employee satisfied okay if you create another employee how much ever less salary you give right so in 10 years experience let's say you give just 8 lakh salary my my employee 4 right you come here and say my employee 4 satisfaction employee is satisfied so what you are going to see here guys my employee 1 and my employee 2 are the object of which class parent class and hence it will follow the properties of parent class or methods of parent class for example if i create a new employee here with the same attribute right for example i come here and say my employee 20 just an example and i say 10 years of experience and 8 lakhs of package like we gave below right like we gave here 8 lakhs package right and i want to check the employee satisfaction then you will see that employee is not satisfied and may leave why because my employee 20 is an object of base class satisfaction comment is coming from the base class but at the moment you inherit the class you create a child class right it will take the methods and attributes from the child class and hence in the 10 years of experience 8 years of 8 uh, lakhs of salary it says employee satisfied so this is basically how inheritance is implemented in python okay there will be a base class and there, then there will be a child class if you want to overwrite methods and attributes of base class you use inheritance now there are different ways to do inheritance in python okay so there can be a 
multiple inheritance there can be a multi level inheritance so what i explained you now is called single inheritance because there is only one base class and only one child class okay but there are different ways in which inheritance is done in python i leave it to you you do some research and drop me in comment how to do multi level inheritance in python okay i want to see some of the comments so what is multi level inheritance is class b inherits from class a and then class c inherits from class b that is level wise okay so just try try in your jupyter notebooks some examples of multi level inheritance and also multiple inheritance and drop me a comment how this inheritance works right and please give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video if you are liking this python series i will see you all in the next video drop me all your doubts also see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care